So we are now fully aware that the gradient of the graph can be obtained by using the first derivative. So if we have a picture of a graph and then we take a tangent, now a tangent is a line that touches the graph in one place. So for example over there I've added a tangent. Then we can determine the equation of that tangent as follows. So we know that as tangent is a straight line and so it has the general formula of y equals 2 mx plus c where m is the gradient. Now if you had to zoom in very closely to this part of the graph over here you would see that the tangent and the graph they have the same gradient at that point. For example the graph may look something like that whereas the tangent does something like that. But at that part over there, can you see that they are pretty much parallel? So that is something that you need to know, that the gradient of the tangent and the gradient of the graph will be the same at the point of contact. So that helps us because we know how to work out the gradient of these graphs. All we need to know is the x value of the graph so you could then find the gradient of the graph and let's say the answer was, for example, let's say the gradient at this point over here is 2. So then we can have 2x plus c. Then to normally go and find c, you would sub in an x and a y. So you could sub in the x and y where these two points are touching each other because at the point of contact, let me just draw that out again, we've got the graph and then we've got the tangent. At that point of contact, they will share the same x and y value. So typically we will already have the x value at that point and then you could plug that x value into the graph, so the purple, you could plug it into that one's equation and you, then you could get the y value and then you could sub it into the tangents equation and solve for x and y. So let's try an example. So here we have a more formal question. It tells us that the equation of the graph below is f of x equals to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. The question is determine the equation of the tangent when x is 3. So I'm going to draw it out for you guys, but you don't actually need to know what the graph looks like at all. We just need to rely upon the fact that the gradient of a tangent has, is the same as the gradient of the graph. But let's draw it in just for illustration purposes. So there we've gone and drawn the tangent in. It's in black. So we know that a tangent has the equation of y equals 2 mx plus c because it's a straight line. Now it has the same gradient as the graph. So to work out the gradient of the graph we use the first derivative. And so we take the first derivative of its equation which is going to give us 3x squared minus 4x minus 3. Now we know that the x value at the point of contact over here, they've told us that that is 3. So we could then work out the gradient of the graph, not the tangent, by subbing in 3. And that will give you an answer of 12. So that means the gradient of the graph, the purple graph, is 12 over there. But the tangent also has the same gradient at that point of contact. So the tangent gradient is also going to be 12. Now how do we normally find c? Well we have to sub in a point. The problem is we only know the x value at that point. But we do have the equation of the original graph and so we can just plug the x value in to see what the y value is at that point. So we'll plug in the x value of 3 and that gives us a value of, of 4. So the, the coordinates at the point of contact between the tangent and the graph will have the coordinates of 3 and 4. So we can plug that into the straight lines equation. So y will be 4, x will be 3, and if you go work all that out you get a c value of negative 32. Therefore the equation of the tangent will be y equals to 12x minus 32.